Well, I'm still digging iron, folks. But at least it's cool. I have no clue what that thing is. If anybody knows, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you. Well, let's get on to the next one. Well, more horse tack. I got lots of that now. So, it was definitely a farm. But on to the next one. Oh, by the way, these ring up so nice. <laughs> well, part of a bell off of an old phone, clock, something. It's copper or brass, it's not iron. That is a sweet find. On to the next one. Well, folks, another great find. That is a part of a half a set to Model A or Model T points right there. So that goes back a ways, and I know this property is supposedly 1850s, 1840s, somewhere in there. That kind of helps justify at least it's close to that age. On to the next one. Now, well, got me another toasted buckle. The hasp was on there, but it broke off. But more horse tack. So on to the next one, folks. Well, here's for the new people. New people to metal detecting, that is. If you're wondering why I'm digging all this iron, on these old home sites, you basically have to, because back in the day, they didn't have plastic. Everything was made out of brass, iron, copper, wood. And there will be a lot of iron at an old home site, and it's been leaching off in the ground so long it masks the good target. So you got to get it out of the ground and let it heal. Just wanted to let you guys know that. You can see I started digging a hole there. Um, there's some deep, high tone targets down there, but I forgot to bring my hand digger. And those roots are a little bit too big to cut through with the shovel. So. Next time I gotta remember to bring my hand hand digger with me so I can get in under it because my pinpointer told me it's right under the roots and I just can't get to it with the shovel. So I'll remember, bring your hand digger with you sometimes or all the time. Well, I found watches and clocks before, but never a pocket watch. Well, I found part of one, a bezel anyways, my first one. So that's a bucket lister, part of a bucket lister. But that is sweet. That's what I mean by getting the iron out of the way. Because I dug around this area before and it was infested with iron. Now that I'm getting the iron out of the way, I'm finding the better stuff. Because this is silver plated copper. So, or not silver. That well, could be silver. Probably just chrome plated. Still an older one. So, on to the next one. Well, here's one for the books, people. Just under the surface. That's either part of an old animal trap, which I think that's what that is, or it could be horse tack. If anybody knows for sure, leave it in the comments below, please, because I'm not positive on this one. Thank you. On to the next one. Yep, this is old property, folks. This is a 32 Winchester center fire. I'm thinking you could probably still get them from a cow cowboy ammo, but... Nobody's used this cartridge in a long, long time. So, on to the next one. Well, folks, you can see the pattern. At first, I thought I got another piece of horse tack, but I don't think that's horse tack. It's woven wire. Maybe it was some kind of jewelry or something. Napkin holder, something a woman would tie her hair back with back in the old days. I have no clue. If somebody knows what that is, please. Please leave it in the comments below. On to the next one. Look at that. Look at that, a tiny old shoe buckle. First one like that I've ever got. That is nice. And there's more targets in the hole, so I'm gonna keep digging. See what else I can find in there. Well, I think I got another little buckle or a piece of jewelry or something. But it's really cool, whatever it is. Now, it's got some fancy on it. I can see it's got a design. So who knows? But that is a sweet find. Well, now on to the wrap-up, because I'm done for the day. Well, folks, here's my find for today. That trap, or whatever it is. Some horse tack. 
leather horse tack buckle ring now on to the better stuff a 32 Winchester center fire an old pocket watch bezel model T points an old copper or brass bell some piece of iron they make these out of a uh, metal that sings now shaped like that I don't think that's what that was and these two well this is a buckle I know for sure what that is I'm not positive it's got some fancy on it could be a buckle but that's my hunt no coins today but hey as far as relics went that's a really good day so I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next go round now well, got me another toasted buckle the hasp was on there but it broke off but more horse tack. So on to the next one, folks.